Well, thank you, Chairman Griffith, for calling this important hearing on 340B, and thank you for uh, reminding us about our beloved uh, former colleague, Don McKeach, and thank you for keeping your, your word to him. Uh, the 340B drug discount program provides real savings to millions of Americans, and it helps hospitals and clinics extend care to patients that need it most. And even better, it does so without using taxpayer funds to pay for medications. Instead, it redirects a small portion of the enormous profits of pharmaceutical companies to hospitals and clinics that primarily serve our working, working class and uninsured neighbors. I would have thought that a drug discount program that supports patient care without any federal spending would be music to my Republican colleagues' ears. Uh, but here we are. I think we can work together to improve this important initiative. The goal of the drug discount program is to stretch scarce resources in order to boost safety net providers' ability to deliver care. The larger, largest users of 340B discounts are nonprofit hospitals that serve a disproportionate number of low-income patients, and then federally qualified health centers that serve some of our most vulnerable neighbors, and other specialized health care facilities such as the Ryan White HIV AIDS clinics also benefit greatly from 340B. Now critics will point to the growth of 340B as evidence that it is not working as intended. But just because a program has grown is not evidence that it's not working. Increases in the cost of drugs, especially specialty drugs, is one reason the program has grown. And it's a reason why the drug discounts are more important than ever. The growth in 340B drug discounts still only amounts to a small percentage of drug companies' enormous revenues. But we know that drug companies do not like any chipping away at their massive profits, and they have fought 340B drug discounts for years. Major pharmaceutical companies rake in tens of billions of dollars in revenue every single year, and drug prices for consumers continue to go up, up, up. While one in four Americans struggle to pay for their prescriptions, each of the 15 highest paid pharma CEOs made over $15 million in base salary bonus and bonuses and stock options in 2021. Drug companies spend large sums on advertising and marketing in the U.S. Meanwhile, Americans spend double what patients in other countries spend on their medications. Even with the 340B discounts of about 25 to 50 percent, Americans likely pay more than what, a typical, <coughs> what typical patients in other countries pay. Back home in Florida, the 340B drug discounts provide important resources to hospitals and clinics as they take the savings to fill gaps in care. For example, one of the largest health systems is BayCare, uses 340B savings to fund their medication assistance program where patients in need can receive reduced cost medicine. 80% of patients enrolled completed outpatient infused, infusion treatments that they otherwise could not afford. BayCare is also able to provide, to operate a kids mobile medical clinic that has provided over 2,000 immunizations and other screenings for children from working class families. At Tampa General Hospital, they operate a clinic that primarily supports working class patients, one, and is one of the only places that these patients can get appointments with specialists. That clinic operates at a net loss of millions of dollars that are made up for, in part, by savings from 340B. Tampa Family Health Centers uses its savings to ensure young adults struggling with mental wellness can access necessary behavioral health treatments. Avera Health in St. Pete has used its savings to provide dental care, case management, and health coaches, leading to better health outcomes and more comprehensive care for patients. These are just a few of the examples uh, in my district, uh, how we all benefit from 340B discounts. Uh, Without the savings provided from 340B, it, all of the, this kind of expanded care would be at serious risk. And this is true all across the country, uh, including in this subcommittee. Nearly every member of this subcommittee has at least one 340B registered center in their district. Most have three or more. 
So when we talk about oversight and p potential reforms, I want to be sure that we're very clear about the benefits of the 340B drug discounts for our neighbors and the, what, what the consequences would be if Congress acts to significantly restrict these discounts. So I appreciate your sentiment of keeping patients uh, at the heart of the discussion today. I urge us to do that as well. Thank you, and I yield back. Chandler yields back now.